Good morning, everybody. This is North Carolina Prepper. I want to talk about a product called bleach tablets. I thought this might be good for water purification and storage. I just saw it today, or actually yesterday night, at Walmart. It's three bucks, and I'll pick it up. I didn't have my glasses on, so I couldn't really read the fine print. I didn't have my snooty monocle either. But um, basically, <clears throat> I'll put the links below. But let's just go ahead and say no. Okay. Could it work? Yes. Will I try it? No. Um, basically, there's 32 tablets. You put one tablet per gallon of water or one in your toilet or one in your wash load. You just drop one. Other than other than um, space, these are pretty good. But I smell it when I open the, the bottle. Um, so it is off-gassing a little bit. I don't know how long they last. I'll try it for washing clothes. I hear they're pretty good. I did some research. Went to their website, and basically 32 tablets cleans the same amount as 182 ounces of bleach. Now, let's get down to what we're interested in. One tablet would equal approximately 5.69 ounces of liquid bleach. So if you want to do water purification, you probably take maybe two tablespoons per gallon. But um, it's one like one tablet for the laundry or your mop bucket, you know, you can drop in your toilet and clean that. Uh, the main chemical isn't isn't bleach. It's a, uh, a salt. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. I'll put it down below. Uh, it's mainly used as a disinfectant, a biocide, an industrial deodorant, and detergent. It's found in some modern water purifiers and tablets. It's more efficient than um, like Halzone for water disinfectant. Um... It's basically a slow-release chlorine in low concentrations at a relative constant state. That's how it works. As a disinfectant, it's used to sterilize drinking water, swimming pools, tableware, air, and fight against infectious diseases in a routine disinfection. Now, this may be the same chemical used in some purifiers for water, but it's not at the same... I don't think, I don't know, I don't think it's at the same purity level. Um... And the dose isn't constant. I mean, I've got test strips. I was going to do a couple bottles and put my test chlorine test strips or free chlorine stuff. But basically, the active ingredient here is uh, between 25 and 100%. That's, that's not good. I've got the, uh, the uh, material safety data sheet that I'll put in PDF below. You can link to the, the, the manufacturer website. But it's 25 to 100% for the product. Um... It's got citric acid, 1 to 10 percent, and sodium carbonate, 1 to 10 percent. So you just don't know. Because when I look at it here, it shows that it's got stabilizing agents. I'm not really sure what that means. That's probably the citric acid. But for, for purposes of uh, water purification, I would not use this. It might be okay in your bleach sprayer and stuff like that. But... The the organic chlorinated bleaching agents is probably the salt or the uh, the sodium stuff. Well, yeah, I guess it would be. Um, and chlorine stabilizer, so I, I just don't know. But it's neat to have. It takes up a lot less space for the laundry and stuff to be good. But I'll still stay with powdered pool shock for uh, long-term storage of uh, chlorination for water purification and disinfectant. All right, just my thoughts on something I found today. I thought you guys might find it neat. Um, like I said, I wouldn't use it for something I'm going to ingest. But for surfaces, like the bleach spray and stuff, that'd probably be fine. All right, you guys have a great day. It's no kind of prepper. Please rate and subscribe.